Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So here we are, once again, with Aurora 4 x amongst the stars. Now, I've actually gone ahead and uh, just looked at our actual race here, our actual people, the Estonian Imperium. And I thought, you know what, the Helgen always look fantastic. I'm pretty sure this is the Helgen. They look amazing. Like, they have, I don't know, they just look fantastic. Really cool. Uh, but I went for this really interesting flag. Purple is my favorite color, and I thought this hull was pretty cool. So far, you know what, we'll, we'll ship, yeah, we'll just flesh it out a little bit. It's also nice to see some of our actual technology over here, you know, just to see how it's actually represented. So that's pretty cool. What I find interesting at the moment is a training level. Not entirely sure what that actually means, but uh, will be interesting anyway. So there we go, gonna save that, and there we go. So we now have the might of the Estonian Empire here. The Imperium, if you will. <laughs> okay, uh, so Deep Space Nine is unable to fill out her orders, and she's uh, really done now. There's nothing else for her to be doing. Uh, we are going to take a look, not at that, over here. Yeah, any mineral. <clears throat> I think we need to figure out what we need to target first and foremost, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this just to one side for the time being. If I take a look at over here, at the industries so of mining and maintenance, uh, so I'm going to bring that screen back up from a geological survey. So if we take a look over here then, uh, what's going to be running out first? So Neutronium is going to be running out... Yeah, Neutronium is going to be running out first. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of Neutronium here. Can I solve this by year so depletion? No? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping I could actually sort it by years of depletion, uh, but about 88.5 years of current rate will actually exhaust our minerals. Hmm. So, Neutronium first. Carbamide. Boronide. Venderite. Corundium. So I've got uh, Galasite over here, which has got 40 years left. Neutronium is going to be running out first. Corundium is one of those that we need. Boronide. We're all right. Well, 18.2 years. Not a huge amount, really. It's just very, very difficult to actually access here. Didn't we have another source? I swear to God we had another source of like uranium. I'm just mad because I swear we had more. Now, let's take a look at the actual. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? As potential colonies. System view. Here we go. So I feel like we had more detected. I, I feel like we discovered more. So let's see then. Uh, system graphic. We're going to go to the options. Minerals. Right. Let's figure this out. Figure it out. So that's the home world. Yeah, look at that. I thought we had one with like 50 million geranium. I must have misread it, to be honest. Man. No, no, there we go, yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Unless I was just missing it or something. But that's got geranium. I mean, the geranium is actually really not too bad. Hmm. Okay, what we need to figure out how to do then is what do we need to really get a colony going what are the base materials what are the base minerals so if i take a look at installations over here then uh, what do we need then so infrastructure is going to be something that we need first and foremost so geranium there that's pretty damn cheap maintenance facilities will come in handy in the near future mass drivers would be very nice but i'd rather not have to rely purely upon mass drivers so mine is Geranium and Corundium. Construction Factory is Titanium as well and Venderite. Right, what I'm going to do then is move this over here. So I had to God, sometimes I could do what I could first, Queen. Uh, Squeen? Squeem. <laughs> Amazing. 
Okay, let's take a look over here. No mineral deposits there. Petroleum bag. Corundium and Galasite. So, a Sonian A5 is probably looking quite good there. And we are going to need that. The colony cost is about the same as the others here, which is nice. Uh, temperature is quite cold, so we are going to need that infrastructure. As to whether we need underground infrastructure, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but if we take a look, distance from the primary star. So we have Geranium here. Not as much as I would have liked, but not bad. So, let's see. Let's figure out what we can do here. Right, mines. Geranium and Corundium. Fantastic. Geranium, Corundium. Research labs, Geranium and Calcium. We don't have that, but we do have Geranium, of course. A spaceport? I'm not entirely sure what I use. I might have to build a spaceport. I'm not entirely sure how useful they are. Um, but we could probably do that. It's quite rare. You need some interesting stuff for that. Mil wow, fuck me. That's expensive. Neutronium, we don't. No, no, we do. Yeah, nice. Infrastructure, obviously, geranium. Fuel refineries, geranium, and boronide, yes! Right, so we've got mines and we've got fuel refineries sorted there. There's only a there's Actually, no, no, there's a decent amount of sorium there, actually. Automated mines of geranium and corundium. Now, automated mines would be a good way to go due to the fact that they don't need a population, so we could just plant these suckers down and they get going there, which is good. Now, construction is geranium, titanium, and fenderite. So I'd have to, I would have to move uh, construction facilities there manually. Or we could move like engineer brigades. Basically, those are part of our, let's see, ground forces. Let's see. Hmm, how do I build a new one? <laughs> I forget how you do it now. Oh, there we go, ground unit training. Yeah, I don't have it at the moment. Uh, but I will be able to unlock that technology. We have the technology, but I do not want to spend a lot of money. Right. So let's take a look over here at the research. So still working on the magnetic confinement fusion reactor. But that's good news then. So it looks like A5. I believe it was A5, which is actually very close to ESO, which is actually fantastic. I mean, if it is A5, then that is amazing. Like, look at the actual distances here between the home world and the world there. That would be really amazing. Right, let's see, make sure that we are right on that one. Because if it is A5, then, oh my god, we are in such luck. It means they can mutually support each other as well, which is fantastic. Right. Minerals, please. Yeah, nice. A5. Loving that. Even you can be very handy. Neutronium is very good. Galasite, Corundium. Do we have any sources of Vendorite? We do have some Titanium there, but it's hardly even worth mentioning. But there's some Vendorite there. I suppose at the end of the day, it does come in handy. There's a decent amount of Geranium there. Enough to maybe make it worthwhile. Um, Cassium. Cassium is something that we don't have a lot of, but this is easily accessible on here. Uh, so I could dump down a few automated miners just to go ahead and grab that. That's a decent amount of carbon mines at one. That's not bad. Tritanium. Uh, Micassium, okay. 10,000 tons. Vendorite. Iridium, that's good. That's a decent amount of iridium. Uh, quite accessible as well, which is good news. Vendorite, that's good. Good amount of geranium. It's actually a pretty good asteroid there. Okay. Not bad. So what we're going to do then is in the near future, really. I think what we're going to do then is look to colonize A5. And I think we can definitely do that. The good news is the distances are so short, it's really handy. And I could set up mass drivers, and mass drivers might be the way forward. I kind of want to run things without having to resort to mass drivers, just because, eh, I don't know. I like the idea of actually having to go out there and build a ship to actually do these things, you know. Okay. So, shipyards. 
continue to expand the capacity there. Uh, you're getting there, you're getting there. I'm really looking forward to when we actually have to produce our first warships, that's going to be awesome. Uh, but ideally, ideally within this natural episode, I should be able to begin to um, take a look at colonization. We are really blessed with the fact that this is so close. Um, I'm probably going to need underground infrastructure. I'll probably get underground infrastructure just in case. I don't know if infrastructure... -y, yeah, I think you have to have underground infrastructure. It has been a while, so I could be wrong. But yeah, I would very, very much like that. Uh, so what we could do then is really look to develop like mass haulers. But yeah. I mean, the main thing I'm going to need then over there is just construction facilities. Which is not bad. I can definitely do that. Okay, they're fully rested. That's good news. What I'm going to do then is let's take a look. So 5,371 there. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to remove all of these over here. Like the squadron and etc. would be nice, but I'm going to do that in the near future. And we're not going to believe in the solar system quite yet. So let's see, terraforming module. There. Genome sequence in there. Construction production. Construction rate. Mining. Underground excavation, yeah. Allows the construction of underground infrastructure. I imagine we're going to need that. So what I'll do then is matching scientist. Q. Small jump gate construction module, sorium harvester. Hmm. Right. Defensive systems, no. Energy, no. So, logistics and ground combat, there we go. Uh, Garrison battalion. We are going to need those. Orbital habitat module. Replacement battalion. Salvage module, ship to ship, trap to beam. Uh, troop transport bay, small troop transport bay, ship to ship. Okay, troop transport. Right. So, around here somewhere. Yep, I'm going to need that as well. Fabian will do this. There we go, cargo handling system. That's what I need. Basically, this makes things significantly faster, which is good news. So cryogenic, yeah, there we go. Uh, construction, uh, construction brigade, that's really good. Combat drop module for a battalion and a company. Maintenance module. Hmm. Mobile Infantry. Love that name. Would you like to know more? Right, we'll go for that for the time being, then. I think everything else is surplus requirement for the time being. Uh, but they aren't long researchers. They're, well, they shouldn't take too long anyway to finish the research there. Uh, so that's very good news. But yeah, if we can actually get a cargo, like a bulk hauler design, that'd be quite good. The good news is, uh, with the distances being so short, uh, we could actually go for like a really, really like... I could just have a very... To be honest, I don't need a fast ship, you know what I mean? So that's quite nice. So we'll keep on going. And then we're going to be looking towards A5. But once we have A5 under wraps, that's going to be excellent. Okay. Hmm... I wish it would keep centered on something there. But yeah, uh, we'll aim to try and get some sort of colonization going then. Uh, um, I think my industry is actually done for the time being. I don't think they're doing anything right now. Uh, so I think what we could do then is we could begin to build up construction facilities, because we're always going to have to move them from ESO. 
So that was going to be something to bear in mind. So if I take a look, look, a look over here. So we're building commercial shipyards. Um, I would like to have more mines as well. Maybe it's worthwhile starting the mines, but what I could do is potentially have the automated mines. But, um... See, I don't have a huge, huge amount of infrastructure here, per se. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to begin to uh, produce fuel again. But what I'm going to do then is increase the amount of mines. And then we'll go for more construction facilities. And we'll go like that. I'm really excited about this. The fact that we have the potential to have a new colony uh, so close to the homeworld is fantastic. I mean, a fair number of these actual worlds are colonizable, so that makes a really strong system. I mean, what we'll be looking towards doing as well is, I'm probably going to be looking towards, um, as you guys saw earlier, we did have the orbital station. So what I'd be probably looking towards doing then is seeing if I could park one of those outside a jump point. And then what I could do is actually put on the actual uh, station is just like a, a, a crap load of weapons, really. The idea being that at least it's some sort of, um, some sort of guard, really, isn't it? Some sort of defense, some sort of sentry, really. Yeah, there we go. Uh, a team on Isa led by Valra uh, Valorus, Valorus uh, Ventriano, has completed research in magnetic confinement fusion reactor technology, which is awesome. So let's see, is this set up right? Yep, fantastic. He's a really good guy. I don't know if he's the right guy. But that'll do anyway. As uh, so if I take a look at the actual tech then. Yeah, there we go. Inertial confinement fusion reactor technology. Internal confinement fusion drive technology. You can see how expensive that starts getting now. But the thing is, once we actually get other worlds, we can start looking at building up uh, research in other worlds as well. Which is going to be very nice. In fairness, uh, no, I need those technologies. How long are they going to take? Is that really that expensive? Let me make sure I'm using the right person here. God, that is really expensive, isn't it? I'm quite surprised by that. Yeah, so we weren't using the right guy there. So we'll put somebody on it who's actually superior for the role there. Right. So it's actually going to take longer than I thought, to be honest. Um, Not a bad thing, then, I suppose. Not a bad thing. Maybe not this episode, per se. Though, what I could do then is actually get the other technologies first, and then at least it gives me the time to actually get a ship built, and then by the time that's done, we can get on with that then. Okay, so cancel that. What I'm going to do then is go to logistics. So, uh, um, it would be good to have a cryogenic, but I'm going to do that one last, actually. Emergency, interesting. Um, yeah, there we go. I think we could potentially have these on our warships in the future to try and save crewmen, really. So that's the thing. Sector command. Flag bridge. As is a task force command staff. Right, there we go. Cargo handling system. So still got five labs over here, which is nice. Uh, boat bay is nice. Allows the fighter or ship of up to 250 tons to dock with the mothership. That could come in very handy, actually. We could almost have, like, uh, parasitic fighters with, like, centers on board, actually. That'd be really intriguing, though. Uh, is there anything else I need there, now? Oh, 
I guess just the cryogenic. Right, we'll have you on there. Industry should begin underway now, which is good news. So she'd be, well, we'll see the mining rates increase, which is good. see how quickly that geranium is going down. So the sooner we gain access to additional resources, the better, really. Just because at the end of the day, it means that while we're doing other things as well, we can start to build up the actual stockpile of minerals on that world. And what we'll do then is we'll figure out what we need, what we're missing, and where we can find it. I'm hoping that we have all the minerals in this system. It will become a little bit awkward if we don't, but I think we do. Hmm. I might look at actually changing who's in charge. Well, who's the actual governor as well. The administrator will say. Right, so I've got the cargo handling system. I could try to go for an improved cargo handling system. And at the end of the day, it's not a bad thing to do, really. The reason being, it just makes everything significantly faster. Yeah, increasing load speeds calculated by dividing load time by tractor strength for each beam of this time. Yeah, there you go. 10,000, but is it worthwhile doing? Um, hmm. Okay. So I really need to figure out what the actual finances do for us, really. Yeah, so I could have a large ship with a hell of a lot of mines. Well, basically automated mining. Uh, imagine the, what is it, the USG Ishimura, Ishimura uh, from Dead Space, where the, well, basically where it cracks the planet. You can kind of do stuff like that. What I'm going to do then is take away the emphasis from this then. We can make do with what we have currently. I don't necessarily need the cryogenic transport, so to be fair, I could begin to actually develop the cargo hauler. But then again, it's not a bad thing if the actual thing itself actually does have the ability to carry cryogenic. Uh, but, well, carry people in stasis, in cryogenic stasis. But then again, it would make more sense to actually have one that's developed primarily for that purpose, just because we can make it more efficient then. So yeah, that makes sense. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and develop our, uh, well, our, our cargo hauler, really. So let's see, uh, new ship. So... So freighter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, name this a new class if I can. Okay. Do hull. Okay. So AK. Oh. <laughs> AK. Right. There we go. Names. Colossus, Dauntless, Nova. I like Nova. Nova's an interesting name. We'll go with Nova. Right. New. Oh, damn it. My bad. I should have had this uh, designation anyway. Yeah, they'll go AK. No, Oberon. We'll go with Oberon then. Right, so it's got a bridge on board, that's good. 
I can go ahead and we do have a new engine as well that we've developed, which is fantastic. Which is actually really fuel efficient. It's all coming together, guys. All coming together. Right. I'm n oh, Jesus, they're quite big. So that's 25,000 tons of air for the standard. What do we have in terms of actual shipyard size? Okay, so we've got 33,000 tons. We've got a 50,000 ton over here. That's good news. So we could aim for about 50,000 tons then, perhaps. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, that was a hiccup. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, that came out of nowhere. Okay. Fuel's not really a massive consideration, Yeah, it doesn't need to go far. That's the beautiful thing. Uh, so I could actually keep it relatively small. 14 billion kilometers for 100,000 liters, yeah. You can see it's going to soak up a lot of fuel, but that's not bad. So we're already at 28,000 cargo handling system. If we have it actually... Uh, it doesn't have to be gigantic. Okay. So using the composite armor. Uh, let's see. 12. Hmm. Cargo handling system. Right, there we go. <clears throat> I just had some increased fuel there. So it takes us to 31,000 tons. Right, speed is going to be quite low, so that's something to take into consideration then. Uh, I've always heard that 30% of the actual ship is good to have as engines. So let's take a look. You can actually take a look at things over there. This is amazing. How amazing is this? So, so useful, isn't it? Yeah, you can see that right now, the cargo hold makes up 80% of the ship. The engine uh, only makes up 8.1. So let's see. Well, a couple more of these babies till we get to about 30% then. But at least we have... Yeah, there we go. So that's about 30% of the ship so far. That is five engines there. You can see that's a pretty respectable speed. Okay. What I could do is actually shorten the deployment time. That would bring us to a round... Okay. Um. Hmm. I could remove one cargo hold. So we're at twenty-seven percent there. I could put another engine on. Which is good. Yeah, I guess I'll go for another engine. Uh, maybe we just fill this up with fuel, or a uh, hundred times, not bad. Mm. I mean, 24.2 billion kilometers is a lot of range, to be honest. It's going to take 1.4 years to build at the moment. Yeah, I could try and just add additional cargo handling systems there. Yeah, 50,000 tons. Uh, so if we take a look at that, it's got 145 cargo handling multiplier there. It carries 30,000 tons of cargo. Um, I can't remember how much a piece of industry is. I think it might be about 5,000 tons, if I remember correctly. I can't remember, can't remember exactly this moment in time. Uh, but we do have the Oberon here. 
moves at exactly 1,920 kilometers per second. Could I maybe get that to 2,000? No, well, mm, no, not really. But that works for me. We've got about 30% of the ship as engines. 50% uh, is a cargo hold, and then everything else is, yeah, the rest of the ship there. I think overall that is pretty good for our first transport, for our first freight event, really. Okay, will that now be in... Uh, over here before I close that? Retool. Oberon. Yeah, there we go. Whoops, accidentally opened Twitch. Right, yeah, so we'll close that. And we'll build an Oberon. Which is actually fairly cheap, but you can imagine that. <laughs> um, it's actually a fair amount of resources, isn't it? Right, so you'd be done. Yeah, cancel that. So 24th of September, 10-11. I'm liking it. So we'll have this episode going a little bit longer. Until we can get that uh, basically underway. But I'm going to be quite happy with that. I was hoping that we might have been able to start colonization this episode. But we're not too far away to be honest. At least by getting something like that ship under construction. It does really put the actual groundwork into effect. <coughs> it gives us the foundations really. Yeah, won't be long now. So what I should be doing then is I could do with looking for a leader, perhaps. Right, so cryogenic's been completed. Um, I kind of shoot myself in the foot then if I do that. So I'd have to rebuild. I mean, we could retool the ship. We could rebuild it. Well, yeah, but uh, we'll see. I could do that in the future, actually. Okay. I think what I'm going to do then is actually take a look at the shipbuilding rate. Try and increase that. So if we look at the shipyards. Yeah, so return for Oberon now. That's going to be done in 1013. So it's going to take some time. So it's not a bad idea to actually get things moving quickly. I can imagine if I told these other ones to stand down, which I'm going to do actually. So no activity. Uh, no activity here. I wonder if that affects the modifier there. We'll see in a second. No, no, but I can see. We'll rename these yards then. There we go. Oh, so it's the Nova class and its name is the Oberon. Well, that's good then. At least we've got what we wanted there. Cancel the mines right now.
1.2 million liters. Well, that's fine. Stop the production for the time being. Right. Con convert mines to automated mines. We're going to need some automated mines then to get things underway to begin with. I mean, the things with construction factories, I'm going to need a population there. Right, so just cancel that for the time being. I don't know whether I, whether or not I need that, but it's probably worthwhile to go for it. Then over here, then, uh, what I'm going to do then is cancel this for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and build automated mines. I don't know how many, uh, 500 per five, uh, probably a lot, isn't it? But uh, it will go for, I don't know, let's say 200. Try and get that underway. Uh, what I'm going to do then is we'll go over here to leaders. I don't know who that is. Church of Campo Grande. Interesting. Right. So, factory production. That's a big bonus there, 30%. Ship building 20. Twenty twenty fifteen. Hmm. Okay. Have you signed that? Reorientate our focus right now. So that takes us to 3900. But yeah, uh, what we'll do then is we'll take over the automated miners. Uh, while I'm researching the actual underground infrastructure, we can get that going. Uh, but yeah, at least for the miners, uh, sort of with the, un well, yeah, the automated mines, they don't need a population, so we can actually get minerals on the world ready. And then what I could do is actually move over some infrastructure, uh, begin moving in people and the actual construction factories themselves as well. And then at least when the actual construction factories arrive, at least they've got the minerals there, uh, basically already waiting to actually go ahead and start building more. Like, uh, automated mines are geranium and corundium, so they can kind of keep themselves going. They can perpetuate themselves to a degree, really. Which is awesome. Really good. Really, really awesome. There we go. So mine is going to increase. Yeah, we're burning through this pretty quickly due to it being quite expensive. But also just pause it when we have to. That slipway expansion is nearly done, so we have three slipways there. Three might be about right, perhaps. It could be that we have a command ship, perhaps, and maybe a jump ship, maybe. And then we can have, like, uh, free uh, combat ships, perhaps. Something of that nature, really. It depends really on our doctrine. Okay. Yeah, at least we get through this. You can see this is going to take a few years actually to finish. <laughs> yeah. At least with current construction rates. That's something to bear in mind then. I might increase the actual construction, um, yeah, the actual build points that we actually get from the, f uh, from the actual crowd. Uh, sorry, from the actual uh, construction factories. Go 
would it not be a bad idea? You can see how important that bonus is, though. Research bonuses times one for non-specialized and times four for scientist specialization. Makes a big difference. Then we go, so we have the third shipyard. Well, the actual third slipway over here to the shipyard, which is excellent. I'm very happy about that. In all honesty, I mean, 25,000 tons is actually a very large ship, to be honest. Okay. Uh, but this is where we're going to leave it off here today. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. The, this one's been recorded a little bit later at night, so do forgive my language. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the energy up. Uh, but I've had college today, been to the gym, and uh, booked my first Japanese language lessons tomorrow, so that's awesome. But yep, trying to give you energy up, trying to be a doer, not a procrastinator. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope to see you again in the future. We're going to be looking towards expanding to Sonian A5. Uh, so do comment down below in the comment section, as you can well imagine, uh, for names. Let's pick a world name. In fact, if you guys want to suggest names for the actual worlds in this system, then we can definitely do that, because it would be nice to actually get some names out here. Uh, so I'm going to say a big thank you for, uh, to you guys for watching. Thank you so very much. And if you have enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing to the channel. You can do that down below, hitting that subscribe button. Uh, hit that bell icon as well. Do all that lame stuff that people say on the outros. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye for now.